Hello, Gemini. Welcome back to Fifi's Tarot Readings. I hope you are all well. And for those that are new to my channel, a very warm welcome. And cross watchers, you are definitely welcomed here as well because the roles can be flipped. They can be reversed. So, Gemini, let's get straight into your weekly love reading. All right. Let's see what's happening around you. Let's do some energy check-in. Um, <clears throat> let's confirm what is it that your intuition is already telling you. Um, what's coming up that you don't know about. And what should you bring awareness to here from spirit? Also, Gemini, uh, for those that are still inquiring about um, having a personal reading with me, um, they are still open. Um, just bear in mind that already, I believe, uh, the next week and the week after maybe it is booked out. Um, but I am still taking um, readings um, for September. Absolutely. I don't want you to wait too long, of course. So, um, yes, if you do book, um, I will give you a booking date that will be reserved only for you. And yes, so all of those readings that I do, all of them and how to contact me is in the description box below. Um, even if you just want to reach out before anything else, you know, um, if you just got any questions and all that, I respond to every single email. Okay. All right. And yes, I've been getting some requests for more extended readings. Um, so I will be bringing them out quite soon. Okay. Um, and for those that are not familiar, those bonus readings are always 100% optional. You're not missing out on anything in the YouTube readings. Um, that's if you just want to dig deeper um, into your person. Okay, so we could be dealing here with a beautiful soulmate connection here. Ooh, serendipity. That sense of luck, of everything falling into place. A sense of destiny that you're supposed to be with this person. The one that is occupying your heart space. All right, let's do this. Gemini, please. My beautiful Jimmy Jams. Let's see what's going on. If there's anyone that can multitask and see something, you know, um, be flexible and see things that are not there. It is you, Gemini. Um, so we have to be fair here. Okay. Maybe some of you have experienced something unjust, unfair as well. Let me see. Let's see what is going on for it, Gemini. Bottom of the deck, what do we have? We also have breathe here. And imagine... Wow. Lots of blue there. Lots of emotion here. Okay. I'm also hearing that a lot of these will actually literally be breathing a sigh of relief. If a lot of these have not received closure. Okay. Um, or if there's just a lot of answers that have not, uh, you know, questions, sorry, that have not been answered. Um, yeah. It's almost like breathing that sigh of relief here that it will come though. Um, and with imagine we have something that you've been manifesting here. Yeah? Um, could be you and your person or both of you manifesting something here. I just keep seeing a sigh of relief here. It's like, finally, I've got closure. Finally, I have my answers. Now I know the way forward here. With deep knowing though, yeah? Um, I have to say that, that this is relying on your intuition here, okay? There is a sense of knowing that there is something meant for you or something not meant for you though. It's very high priestess energy um, there, isn't it? All right, so let me put these cards down. We have the tribe. Oh, milk and honey, beautiful. Going, you, I think, Gemini, you're entering a very sweet time of your life now. And time to go. All right. So I'll put these over here. I want to make sure I've got enough room. So the tribe here is a sense of belonging, yeah? Um, with you and your person. You know, even if that's wish of building up a family together, yeah? Just that tribe. You know, I almost feel a lot of you um, with your person. The one that is occupying your heart space here, yeah, they make you feel safe. Or at least once upon a time they did if, you know, if, you know, if there's a disconnection and things went down, you know, they went south very quickly here. Um, but your person makes you feel safe here, yeah. Um, I feel like there was a sense here once upon a time that you could rely on each other as well, though. Um, but I really feel here with milk and honey that a lot of these are about to enter a very sweet time in your life here. But as you can see, they're the elephant um, is a very family-oriented animal, very loyal, um, but it's also protection, something big and strong, powerful that's about to enter your life as well, though. A very sweet time. You know, you can have your cake and eat it as well, okay? Um, and time to go here. It's like the Eight of Cups for me. Um, this is you, Gemini, metaphorically walking away from things that no longer serve you, um, people, events, situations here that were really holding you back, bringing you down. But where are you going? You're going towards the gateway. You're going towards your Nine of Cups, a wish fulfillment. This could actually be both of you as well, though. So major transitioning um, that's happening here. Yeah, let's use a Morgan Greer. I feel like I haven't used that for a while. So I haven't even shuffled. We've already got the Six of Cups there. Soulmate energy. We've got the Judgment here. Okay, so Six of Cups is very heavy um, Scorpio energy and Libra there with the Judgment card. 
um, yeah, this is someone that you're not in connection with anymore, okay? And if you are, it's just been a little bit inconsistent, not the same as before. But yeah, look at that. We've got a beautiful solid offer now. Let's see what's happening. I'll also be clarifying and I'll be closing with um, some of the Romance Angel Oracle cards there for you. Let's see, what is going on, please, for it, Gemini? Let's see. Ooh. Bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Very strong Pisces energy as well, though. Um, so this is a love offer, okay? A beautiful, sweet love offer. Um, there could be an age difference here. Um, that obviously for me, that shouldn't matter at all, but just saying, you know, there could also be children involved. Um, and I feel like a lot of you are due also for an apology, a genuine apology though, with a, with an explanation. Okay. Just saying, sorry, is not enough. So let me put the cards down. We have the devil Capricorn energy, three of pentacles, Capricorn energy. Again, the empress, Ooh, Taurus energy, the tower. Very strong Scorpio energy, the King of Pentacles, Virgo energy, Justice, Libra, the Fool, Aries energy. Let me just put that camera down. I want to make sure you can see everything. The Sun, Leo energy, Queen of Pentacles there, more Virgo energy, Taurus, Capricorn. I feel like the tide is turning here. Something is happening. Mm -hmm. So you very well could have been dealing here with a Capricorn, with that devil energy. But we do know here that... This is a card of extremes, okay? You don't have to be dealing with a Capricorn, um, but this is burning the candle at both ends here, okay? It's a card of obsession, the card of extremes. Um, your person very well may have been doing something quite toxic, something unhealthy, which really couldn't have just put that, kind of like that wedge between both of you, yeah? I'm feeling here that they also gave you that tower moment. Something happened, they dropped the bomb here, yeah? or they dropped the ball, as they say. Um, your person could have been married as well, or with someone, because it is on top of the tribe card, okay? They could have been a third party as well with that three of pentacles, okay? Um, definitely, though, there is a sense here that I feel like both of you, especially you, Jim, and I worked very hard in this connection. You gave it your all, yes? Um, but I do feel here that there is a need that, um, and I feel like it's going to make you quite happy in the sense that they really do want to work hard at this, work with you, not against you, collaborate with you. Um, now, if you are dealing with a masculine, they very well could have a feminine in their life, the mother of their children. They could be married as well. Um, definitely there could be children involved here. But yet at the same time here, they are seeing you as this empress. Okay? The empress here is someone accomplished. And Gemini, if you've, even if you don't feel accomplished, you are on your way there. Don't give up on yourself. Absolutely. Um, yeah, you know, you may have children yourself or you probably want children. Some of these could be pregnant. If you do want to be pregnant, that is there for you. Absolutely, though. Um, but I'm actually really seeing here, and they are seeing as very abundant, someone they can rely on as well, though. Um, some of these could be actually financially well off or just very financially stable. Um, that tower card here, I feel like they did drop the bomb on you. Something happened, okay, um, where someone said, you know what, I can't do this anymore. This is definitely showing me someone you could have very well be connecting um, with someone who was going through a divorce. I could have been separated here. Um, yeah, all I'm, I'm, you know, usually the King of Pentacles, and you know, you do have your perfect match, the King and the Queen of Pentacles, um, is renowned with someone that is already in a committed relationship. Um, I do feel here that they have very strong feelings for you, though, but they may have just ghosted you. They may have just blocked you or just said to you, I can't do this anymore. It's like they found the lamest excuse in the book, um, and you've kind of been a little bit blaming yourself, but no, Gemini, you've done nothing wrong. I do feel here that any return that they do make, um, any form of communication here, because I did see that page of cups, which is like emails, phone calls, um, text messages, is going to take you by a massive surprise though, okay? So yeah, that I, I'm really sensing if you are dealing with a masculine here, um, they could also have children as well, okay? But they see long-term with you though. It's just that the, the big issue here, Gemini, and you will know by now if this is your reading or not, is that their words and their um, actions completely did not match, okay? And with the tower, I feel like you were just there picking up the pieces of what happened. Um, that justice card here is also my apology card, but it's a genuine one. It's not one just to, for example, get back in your pants or, okay, you know, water under the bridge. No, no, no. Okay, so at the moment, yeah, I don't feel like they're on the receiving end of good karma as well. Um, there, there's something here that they could be dealing with um, some legalities as well, though. But look how, lo and behold, how the bottom line changes. Um, now, you could be in a long-distance relationship as well, okay? 
but they're not going to lie here that you make them happy. And once upon a time, he's both made each other very, very happy here. Okay, but you are looking to the future now. Okay, what makes Jim and I really happy? content, emotionally fulfilled. Um, they very well here may just close their eyes, take that leap of faith and just contact you. And they know it's a risky decision here because I feel like they really let you down. Okay. Um, but we've got pure happiness coming your way. Pure, utter happiness. It's the return of health. And I'll list everything this means, babies, children, um, you know, even traveling here to a hot, sunny place for a lot of you actually. Um, definitely the return of health here, emotional health as well. Um, and there you are. You are on the right path. I mean, your person is seeing as the empress. That's all the queens wrapped up into one. And there you are, really focusing on your finances, your career, your future, your studies, trying to better yourself. You are on the right path. I have to admit, um, Jim and I, you are a force to be reckoned with. And there's nothing wrong with that. Okay. Got the king of cups here at the bottom. Okay. So Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, the very strong um, Pisces energy. Oh, sorry, Scorpio. Um, Scorpio energy. So yeah, yeah, your person could be feeling a little bit stuck here with that Eight of Swords, Gemini energy. Um, how to, you know, you could be dealing with a Gemini as well. But it's like, how do I approach you? Because they love you with that Ace of Cups there. I feel like they want to give this another try. I feel like a lot of you are over this though. Oops. It's like you've waited far too long. It's like, oh, now you want to come back. We have that Four of Wands there. That's my Twin Flame energy. It's also my Marriage card. A lot of these could have actually been just really talking about your future here. Like when this is over, whatever they're dealing with here, they could very well have been dealing with a karmic, a very toxic, toxic person here. With that Moon card, very strong Cancer Pisces energy. Uh, you know, I feel like these were left in the dark about a lot of things. There could have been some lies, deceit. I don't feel like they did it really on purpose to really hurt you, you know, in a like a Seven of Swords energy, unless we see it here. Um, I just feel like they went truthful. It's almost like they took the easy route. Maybe there were people trying to influence them, saying, you're just getting out of a marriage. Do you actually want to be with someone else here? Um, and lo and behold, it's like, well, they shot themselves in the foot here. So they've just done really bad decisions here with that justice card as well and i saw the judgment yeah all right let's see let's start clarifying let's get more information for you we do have that two of pentacles more capricorn energy here yeah they're weighing up the pros and cons on how to approach you it's like do i stay single or you know whatever i'm dealing with or do i approach here gemini and face the consequences i feel like a lot of these are really hurt um and angry with your person Six of Swords here, okay? So, yeah, with that Six of Swords, that's very heavy Aquarius energy. They want to move on, but they're looking at you saying, you know, can you come with me, okay? Um, and that Two of Cups there, look at that deep soulmate energy there, Cancerian energy. I have to admit, though, they have never stopped loving you. So let me put these cards out. So we have the Seven of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, very strong Capricorn energy here, the Star. Nine of Wands, Eight of Swords again, yep. The Devil card, the Hermit. Wheel of Fortune. I, I'm definitely seeing these are not talking to each other. Temperance, the Chariot, Death, Nine of Cups, Knight of Cups, Page of Wands, the Empress again, Six of Wands, Seven of Wands, and the Three of Wands. This is definitely not over. I have to say that. Okay. I'm just like clarifying the devil energy. There was a lack here of what they did um, of investing in uh, this relationship here. You know, it's like they planted that seed, but it just never really grew. You know, they didn't really nourish this. Um, and this other connection that they were most likely with here, um, doesn't matter how hard they tried, though. It was, um, you know, it's just not going to work. Yes. Um, Page of Pentacles here. They're definitely going to contact you, though. Um, preferably, they would love to have face-to-face -face communication with you. Definitely showing um, showing me that there is um, a big difference of age between you. You could be a lot more older. They could be a lot more older. Vice versa here. Um, but they wish to uh, really invest in this now. Uh, is it too late, though? That's the thing. We have the star card. Uh, strong Aquarius energy. Now, yes, this is a wish being granted here for both of you. Um, doesn't mean that it's going to be easy. Um, it has hurt. And it probably still will hurt. Um, but I feel like here yeah, they do know that um, you are quite defensive about this. It's like you're left there picking up the pieces thinking, what just happened? My person just left me. Um, they you know, they packed up their bags and they just left. Um, with the lamest excuse ever, though. Um, but we have a wish being granted here. There is a sense of fate here um, and also healing. It's destiny, but both of you are really healing here. Um, but this is the energy of not giving up. I feel like both of you 
have not given up on each other. Even though both of you went your separate ways and you were forced to pick up the pieces here, um, your person is still trapped here by a certain karmic here, okay? Um, so they came out as this card first, um, and it came out again, okay? So that's strong Gemini energy as well, more Capricorn energy. Yeah, whatever they're dealing with here, they could be dealing with someone very manipulative, um, just very toxic, very unhealthy here. Um, they are not happy. They're feeling very trapped. That's what's happening here. You know, they could have actually even be threatened. Something happened here. I'm feeling like maybe the karmic or whoever is on their side found out about your connection and they were not happy. Um, and I don't know, something happened here. Um, and I feel like your person probably didn't even want to leave you. Something happened that you're not aware of because we did see the moon card. Um, that happened most likely behind your back. Um, so we do have the, um, the hermit uh, card, strong Virgo energy. Okay, there's a bit of self-imposed isolation here. Definitely showing that when they dropped that bomb, that tower fell, you just completely stopped talking. A lot of you feel that they ignored you. Um, but here we have the Wheel of Fortune. Forward movement now. Again, it's the card of destiny. Um, I feel like this, whatever they're dealing with, was supposed to happen. It had to finish first. They have to wrap that up first, though. Okay? Very well, you could be dealing with a Cancerian here. You could be in a long-distance relationship here. They are charging towards you. It is their wish. It is their desire. Okay? Um, yeah, they're still healing here with that te uh, temperance card, Sagittarius energy. Okay? Um, yeah, honestly, I feel like now they're really taking care of their health as well. And with that devil card, maybe they couldn't have been over drinking here, overeating. They were doing something just to cope with all the drama that's happening in their life. Um, but it is the card of healing, restoring peace, balance, harmony here. There is a bit of a waiting period here. And of course, Jim and I always say, don't wait for anyone. Um, but I do see them coming back, though. I do see that. So where there is a death, there is a beginning here. Okay, transformation, strong Scorpio energy here. They want to transform this. The sword is pointing up here. Um, definitely showing that they want to communicate with you. We have that Nine of Cups there. Pisces energy. You are their wish fulfillment. They always knew that, but I feel something definitely. I know I sound like a broken record, but something happened behind your back that you do not know about. Um, where it's like they couldn't move forward, so they just gave you a lame excuse. I feel like a lot of these didn't never believed your person as to why they just ended it. Um, and I feel like there's a lot of unresolved issues here. Absolutely. So what is it? We've got the fool here. They're going to take that chance to do what? To communicate with you. Okay. Passionate messages here. They're very passionate towards you. They're very attracted to you. But with that Knight of Cups here, Knights are all about messages. It's all about changes, um, especially in the emotional state here. Okay. Definitely showing me, you know, that, I mean, not all of you, but there is some kind of distance here between you though. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful love offer. More apologies coming your way though. They are seeing you as the Empress here. Possibly even the mother of your children, if you are the feminine watching here. Okay? They see you as very abundant, accomplished here. Like, they literally want to give birth to this again. And then with that six of wands, and we all know that sixes are all about healing. Yeah? Um, basically, this is them. They want to succeed. They want this to work. They want this to be victorious. Because you make them happy. Um, whoever they're dealing with here, whoever was in their past, made them quite miserable. Um, three of wands, that's them coming back, though. I feel like it's been a very long time coming here, or at least for you, it feels like it's been absolutely ages um, since you have spoken, but they do want to fight for this. They do know, they know very well that you do have your walls up, okay? Um, they only wish that you could drop your walls. They just don't know because it's been, because it's been quite a while since you have spoken. They just don't know how you're going to receive them. Are you with someone else here? Because they are seen as the Empress, as this beautiful Queen of Pentacles, you know, holding there your own pentacles there. So that's fighting for what you believe in. Absolutely. Let's get some love messages for you. I must say that this is uh, not over. I kind of feel like a lot of you do would welcome to hearing back from your person. Okay. And yes, I know that, you know, sometimes we always get these messages of someone from the past and all that. Um, the only thing is, you know, I, this is just unresolved. This can this reading cannot be for every Gemini, absolutely. Um, but if you do want to hear back from your person, if you would welcome that, um, yeah, I would say just prepare yourself. So with that tower card, I feel like a lot of you will not see this coming. That's why. It's like you're just doing your own thing and then boom, they just, you know, <laughs> they just send you a message. You're like, I never thought I would hear from them in this lifetime ever again. Let's see. Let's get some love messages for you. Yeah, see, they're healing some family issues here. 
um, especially if they are going through a divorce, if there's a separation here, if there's children involved as well. Yeah, see, these aren't together right now. Time apart is on the horizon, but this is not permanent, okay? Wedding. So definitely they're showing me that also they're getting a divorce here. They're separated as well, though. I feel like some of you actually have spoken briefly about having your own marriage as well, okay? The chemistry is still there, absolutely. They're just probably worried that there's not enough um, chemistry at the moment. In other words, like it's unrequited love that you don't feel the same way. So a codependency here with that devil card and all that and the nine of cups, they could be emotionally attached to you. Um, you probably have even no idea about this, but they're doing something here, probably over drinking, over eating, um, just to cope with what's happening here. I'm also hearing a lot of them are worried about their image, like when you see them after all this period of time about how they're going to look as well. There's a bit of lack of self-confidence here. They are releasing their ex, okay? Um, and this is the thing, a lot of you have actually tried to release each other. But that's been actually impossible as well, though. So we've also got honeymoon. Literally, actually, both of you going away together. That is definitely there. Some of you could actually have spoken about that as well. The attraction is there. Oh, wow. We have love yourself first. So we're not saying that you don't love yourself, Gemini. This is all about what makes you happy. That's how you love yourself, by putting yourself first. Because I feel like a lot of you are still healing from this. And retreat. It's like that um, hermit card there. And I just noticed here that underneath healing family issues, we do have reconciliation. So it, this has been quite painful for you, Gemini. I'm really feeling here a lot of you have shed quite a lot of tears, especially at night alone. Um, this has been very, very painful. But I feel like this return could offer some healing. Um, it could even be closure for you. It could actually be reuniting together in a beautiful relationship here. Um, they're really just going to have to earn your trust again. A lot of you are worried that they may do this again. And you know what? That's more than fair of how you're feeling here. Okay. All right, Gemini. I will leave this here. Um, this probably confirmed just a lot of things that you already know. But um, I wish you all the best. All the healing, love, abundance in the world. You deserve it, Gemini. Take care. Bye.